In this paper, we propose a new method to control a virtual character by motion recognition with an accelerometer-based controller. Given a number of controllable actions, we associate each of them with a captured control signal. During one time, we obtain a signal from the controller at each time frame. Traditional approaches usually create a single buffer to store the signals. When the buffer is full, the system matches the performing signals with the stored ones. With a small buffer, the system misrecognizes the action easily. To enhance the accuracy, one can increase the size of the buffer. However, this will introduce non time lag in the system, as the system does nothing until the buffer is full. We propose a dual buffer framework that dramatically increases the recognition rate while shortens the time lag. Our system consists of a main buffer that is shown in red and a supplementary buffer that is shown in blue. Whenever the main buffer is full, recognition starts and the best matching action is the net. Since the size of the main buffer is small, system responds to the user movement quickly. When more signals are available, the supplementary buffer is used and the recognition is repeated with both buffers. We may find that the previous recognition is incorrect. In such a case, we switch the current action. Since we have more information, the recognition is more accurate. If the previous recognition is correct, we continue the current action. Here we show an example of action switching. A hole punch is easily misrecognized as a straight punch, as the beginning parts are very similar. If we simply stop the first action and switch to the hole punch, there might be artifacts on the movement. Instead, we skip the beginning part of the hole punch when contaminating it to a straight punch. This creates a natural movement. Here, we show an example of controlling the virtual character. We capture the control signal from the user with an accelerometer-based controller. The system can recognize 13 actions with a main buffer of one tenth a second. The controllable actions include two straight punches, two uppercuts, two hole punches, two parries, one blocking, and four movements. The response time of the character is considerably softer than most of the commercial games nowadays, and the accuracy is high as well. In this experiment, the user bosses with a virtual opponent that is trained by a machine learning approach. When a character is hit, we stop the current action and insert an appropriate falling back movement. Since our system is both fast and accurate, apart from entertainment, it can be used in serious applications such as training sport players.